Ancient Indian mathematical works, all composed in Sanskrit, usually consist of a section of sutras in which a set of rules were stated in order to aid memorization by a student. All mathematical works were orally transmitted until approximately 500 BC. Thereafter, they were transmitted both orally and in manuscript form. Indian mathematics emerged in Indian subcontinent from 1200 BC. The most significant development of trigonometry in ancient times was in India. Trigonometric ratios are the ratios between edges of a right triangle. So triangle is a polygon which forms the most important part of mathematics. In this video, let's explore different types of triangles while folding a flower. Let's start with a square piece of paper. Fold it into half, you will find two rectangular shapes. Make a second similar fold and you will find four squares done. Turn the paper, make two diagonals to the square. Give a gentle push at the center and you are done with the square basic fold. Make a triangular fold towards the center as shown. This triangle is a right angled one. Make one more triangle on the second side. These two right triangles form one isosceles triangle. At the bottom you have one more right angle isosceles triangle. Turn it back, repeat the steps. You will have four flaps, two on either side formed. Open one flap and in the pocket try to expand it. I have selected a thicker paper so the folds have to be done twice sometimes. Open, open up the pocket, press it and keep the fold back. Repeat this step on all the rest of the three flaps. After completing this fold on all the four flaps, the folds look like this. We have four flaps on this side and four on the other side. <coughs> this is the plain side. Prefer this side where you will find the triangles. This is one triangle, right angled, isosceles triangle. A bigger one is also a isosceles triangle. Fold two more triangles. Our flower is full of triangles. As shown, repeat it on the other side also. This is an obtuse angled triangle. We have two such triangles here. Repeat the same on all the other three sides. 
on the fourth side. After making the fold on all the four sides, the fold looks like this. It is done all the four sides. Checking is done and folding one more triangle. Yes, this is an isosceles triangle. Open it and repeat this step on the back side also. Yes, we have formed one new crease. Our next fold is towards utilizing this new crease. Bring it down, forming one quadrilateral which has two obtuse angled triangles. This is one triangle left over, keep it to the top. Please keep it in mind to fold this to the top. Repeat this step on all the four sides, remaining three sides. We do this because our daffodil flower has got four petals. So each step has to be repeated four times. After all the four are done, the folds look like this. Select from each side and prefer the plain side, not this side. Take this plain side and towards the closed end make two more triangles. This also is an obtuse angled triangle. We made two such things right now. We can find the angles of all the triangles. See this is 45 degrees. And half of that is 22.5. Total is 45. This is 22.5. The other one also is 22.5 degrees. That we have bisected by this triangular fold and we got as 11.25 degrees. One more 11.25 degrees. Actually we made this 11.25 degrees while unfolding a rocket. Make this fold on all the remaining sides. So I have given in the description about the link of this rocket unfolding. Yes, this is 11.25. The sheet looks like this after making all the four flaps folded towards the obtuse angle triangle. Now we have four flaps which have to be brought down. That will become the last step for our daffodil flower. It looks like this. Yes, bring this flap down which is in the shape of a pentagon. It has got five sides. Has two quadrilaterals in it. So make this pentagonal petal fold on rest of the three sides. In the process, you please take up a small experiment of putting the measures of all the triangles formed with origami method. We do not use any geometrical tools here. Yes, the two flaps at the top. One more and you can find three, four uh, triangular small parts at the center. This daffodil is done and you can simply beautify those petals by simply making a small fold in this way. And we can make with different colored papers and try to make a bouquet kind of a thing. Happy folding viewers.